Hi there, so I'm going to show you how to take your length and roll it into an updo. I'm putting an elastic around the base of my hair. I find that holds it really well and helps it when I roll it into one of the sponge rolls. Um, and I'm just going to comb through and make sure there's no tangles. And this is my classy rebel roll. It's the same one I used on my top bang. And it bends and that's what really helps hold and shape this hairstyle and I just love it so it works really easy. I do have layers in my hair so I decided to put an elastic one more time just at the length of my shortest layer on my length. So the elastics I'm using are super elastics. They're really thin see-through ones but I got them at Sally's. They come in a bag of a hundred I think and they're supposedly not supposed to break. And when you're dealing with long hair or heavy hair, that is really helpful because the ones you buy in the drugstores will snap. So I just roll it around. I grab the hair, roll it around the roll, and make sure I try to keep it even as I do it. And I just twist up, and you can see there's the elastic. And so I just start to pull down to kind of create my shape. As I'm doing it, I'll bend the sponge to help with the shape and then now I'm just spreading out the hair in behind sorry that I can't show you exactly I'm gonna try and turn as I do it to give you an idea of what it looks like so I'm putting a, bin, a, a bobby pin straight through the top on each side and then gently grabbing the sponge and the hair on the side and I didn't need very many bobby pins to do this so this is another reason why I love these rolls because they have that shape it holds really well so it's in, that was only maybe a couple bobby pins. And then now I'm just gonna secure it down. And just um, you can just basically sit there and feel for the shape. It's a very simple shape so you know that you've done it. You can also grab another mirror and look in the back. But uh, we're freestyling today so I'm just trying it this way. So and I'm just gonna secure that other end down. And if you don't like the way it feels, just roll it again and pin it until it feels right. And you shouldn't need that many pins actually because the rolls are so nice. They hold so well with the, the way they bend. And everything looks like it's really nice and neat. So I'm really liking the way it's turning out. Just a couple more pins. And one more on this side. And then I will eventually turn around to show you the back. Sorry that, that it's so quick. When I was filming it, I didn't realize. A couple more. I'm always worried because I have so much hair that it's gonna fall out. But it feels secure. And I'm gonna quickly turn around and you can see it's done like a U or a horse shape. And you can shape that to shape it like that or you can make it wider and you can base off of your your head shape and what kind of look you want. And then I made these tiny little hair flowers and I decided to do tiny ones and I really liked the look of having a bunch of different flowers in my hair. That rose, um, I really love that one but I didn't love how it looked in my hair so I decided to take it out. The bigger ones can be tricky. So I decided I was going to stick with the smaller ones. And I'm going to hide those metal clips because they drive me nuts. So I'm going to use some little buds that I, that I made that match the magenta flowers. And I love the colors magenta and blue, so I just wanted to use that. And I'm just making sure everything's secure. And that also, if you're not sure about your role or you're practicing and you're not quite there yet, those little flowers will help hide the little sponge ends. And you want to get a sponge that matches your hair color. For Classy Rebel, they come in blonde, black, and brunette. So that grabs most hair ranges, um, and if you if a little sponge is showing, it's not a big deal. And with practice, you'll spread the hair out, you'll place the flowers. You didn't have to actually put these many flowers, but I just really liked the way it looked. I love the colors, and I thought it looked kind of fun. So I'm just going to put a little hairspray, try and get those flyaways. And I really like how it's... And if you're interested in learning how to do the top roll to match, I put that in a separate video called Bumper Bangs and Simple Waves. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe.